Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say first off, if you hear a difference in my voice, yeah, I'm sick, so I'm sorry about that. But I really wanted to film today, so I hope you don't mind. I thought I would talk about this kind of a mini story, but mostly kind of a message behind the story. So I started tweeting about this little story that happened to me a bunch of years ago that kind of popped into my head. So I thought I would tell you guys it. So basically, when I was in 7th and 8th grade, I loved sushi. I did. It was a thing that I was really into. Raw fish was just like my jam. It still is, honestly, but yeah. Um, I liked it before it was popular, before it was trendy. Um, even a lot of adults didn't like it, you know? Because people kind of were grossed out, didn't want to try it, whatever. So I would bring it to school. I would, you know, bring it in a little mini cooler or something or have a nice pack, I don't know. And I would eat it at lunch. And I always remembered, you know, my friends or random people just kind of being like, that's really gross that you have raw fish. Like, that's disgusting. And kind of being like judgmental and just kind of like rude about it. I just, I remember that always like being a thing. So whenever I would bring it, I'd kind of be like, I have to deal with this today because it would happen every single time. And I kept bringing it because I liked it and I wasn't going to change, you know, the fact that I wanted to eat something at school just because. Now it's a really trendy thing to do and everyone, everyone is obsessed with sushi, you know? And I was just, I was thinking about this a few nights ago or maybe it was last night, I don't know. And thinking about how, you know, if I brought sushi to school tomorrow, everyone would want some. Like everyone would be like, oh, can I have some? And I'd be like, sure, whatever. But like, back then, because it was so not trendy, I suppose you could say. Everyone just didn't like it. And it was, it's kind of a weird thing to even talk about. Like, what's the point of the story? <laughs> um, I don't know, but I feel like so many people would have liked it because obviously they like it now because they tried it because it was trendy or because it's cool or because it's in. And if they would have given it a shot back then, they would have liked it uh, most likely then too. I feel like so many people are just afraid of different until that different thing is what's being praised in the media or by celebrities or whatever. Um, and I'm just like such a big fan of people just doing whatever they want. And I mean, obviously like, as long as it doesn't hurt you, other people, as long as it's not like offensive, whatever, like obviously there has to be some ground rules before you do whatever the heck you want. But I just, I don't think, oh, I see a piece of glitter in my eye. How am I doing this right now? I don't know. I just think it's pretty crazy to me that like the same thing that I was m not made fun of or anything wasn't that drastic, but the same thing that I was kind of like gross, people were grossed out about over is like the exact same thing now that everyone's obsessed with. If you're doing something that's different, like if you have a different hair color or if you, I don't know, wear kind of crazy clothes or do weird makeup. As long as it makes you happy, that's all that should matter. And I feel like the older you get, the more that people kind of realize that and kind of don't care. Like, I feel like I'm at the age right now, you know, I'm 17, um, where a lot of people kind of are starting to just not really care about what other people do in a good way. Like, they're just kind of like accepting more. Um, and I feel like college is going to be a lot like that. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I hope it is like that because that'd be incredible, you know, if a lot of people are just like, hey, like, come as you are, man. Like, that's great. I love things like that. I just get so excited when everyone's just kind of themselves and can kind of do whatever they want and everyone is just cool with it, you know? Because I don't think it's fair that people should be judged for doing something that they like or for being something that they want to be or for just being themselves, you know? We found it. We found it. There's some kids outside screaming, we found it! Yes, we did. Good job. I feel like there are so many things that you and I do that soon enough are going to be deemed trendy or popular or at least, you know, more widely done and then everyone's going to be okay with it. But right now, because you're one of few people who do it or have it or whatever the case is, it's just not okay. You know what I mean? I think different is incredible. You know, the more different and unique you are, the better because it's just, it's cool because there's no one else like you. I don't think that we should all try to fit one mold. In fact, I think, did you see that hair? Like, ooh. If you try to fit a mold, it's horrible and it's just unauthentic and it's just not okay, you know? Um, like, look at my face right now. Look at my eyes. This is not like a normal thing to do. But I'm loving it because it's just who I am and I'm embracing myself, just expressing myself. And I think that's perfect and I think that's incredible. I think a big reason why so many people are unhappy 
with themselves, with their lives, with who they are, I don't know. It's because they're trying to be something that they're not. That's why they're unhappy, because they're trying to force something upon themselves that they instinctually wouldn't do. And, I mean, maybe they realize it, maybe they don't, but if you're just, like, doing you, then you'll be so much more happy. Like, I'm such a happy person, um, and I think, honestly, that's just because I'm very, like, this is me, this is who I am, like, so if you don't like me, oops, like, I'm very unapolog- unapol- <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm very unapologetically myself. And that doesn't have to be in a rude way, that doesn't have to be like, hey, I hate everyone who hates me, <laughs> you know, like, no, absolutely not, if you don't like me, I don't have anything against you for it, you know, because I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I'm, everyone's not my cup of tea, you know, you have to find different people that you are attracted to in a romantic way, in a friendship way, in a acquaintance way, and whatever. I just love when people are themselves, and there are things out there, like prom dresses, for example, prom season's happening right now. And I'm seeing so many prom dresses from people, um, and they're just embracing who they are through their dress. And you know, it might not be my style necessarily, but the fact that they're wearing it makes me so happy. And whether I've never talked to that person before, or I talk to them every day, haven't talked to them in years, doesn't matter. Like, I just look at that and I'm like, you know what, that's your style, like, that's who you are. And like, you go, girl. Like, I personally wouldn't wear it, but like, that doesn't matter. Like, doesn't mean anything. I've been starting to see people just kind of being more of themselves because I think that's honestly starting to be trendy. People being different is starting to become more trendy. I guess that's a good thing, the fact that that's being considered trendy at the moment. Even if it goes out of style, don't stop being yourself because ugh, I, don't, I don't think there's a point, honestly, um, in trying to just hide who you are for your entire life. I don't get it. I really, I don't understand it at all, so. Just be who you are and be happy the fact that you are who you are, so with the fact that you are who you are, yeah. <laughs> so I love you, please have an incredible day today, and I will see you guys in my next video. I messed up my outro, I always do, but whatever, so please be sure to subscribe, come thumbs up, and all that jazz. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!